<coughs> okay, so I got more than four hours of sleep last night, which is good. And I'm chilling out in my cool Heifer Project cow sweater that my grandpa gave me. Just because it was in a box of stuff that he didn't want anymore. And it's a good chill out kind of shirt. So, um, first of all, I'd like to apologize to Meg. I know you're really behind on videos. You just posted you have 10 to watch, and this will probably make it 11. I'm sorry. Um, but I just had a couple things I wanted to say. Um, uh, Anna, uh, in my last video, I forgot to mention about your stuff. Video, you got to go see Wicked! Ah. Oh my gosh, I love Wicked so much. Um, that was my first musical, and it's like, I don't know, it's so important to me because I've mentioned my, my fascination with The Wizard of Oz and um, that was my first musical and it's like now I want to do theater for the rest of my life. Like that's what got me introduced to it. Um, and so I was really excited when you said that. Was that your first musical, like professional theater experience? I don't know. but. If you could tell me, that'd be great. And I'm really glad you enjoyed Wicked because it's fantastic. Um, oh, uh, Joe, uh, you'll make it to New York City. Do not give up hope because, um, and Anna and Meg, you need to come too, and we will all hang out and uh, go see shows, and it'll be great. Oh, and if you're worried about the cost of Broadway tickets, like, I, um, there are lots of things you can do. <laughs> and let me tell you a few. I'm a part of this, I just found Jack Chocolate, I'm gonna use that. Um, I'm a part of, uh, the Playbill, uh, membership discount thing. So they send me emails like every week uh, with different discounts to different shows and sometimes it's up to like 50% off which is awesome. And I have some friends who are part of this thing called Hit Ticks and what that is is that your seat is predetermined but you don't know it. Uh, that sounds weird. Okay. Anyway, it's every show um, is $20. And the people who are a member of Hip Ticks sit in a certain section. You don't know if it'll be a good seat or not, but normally pretty much every seat is a good seat. But, um, but you don't have control of where you sit exactly, it's just all of the members sit together. And, um, the, the seats vary, uh, per theater. But anyway, that's that's only $20, uh, which is crazy. Um, and another thing you could do, if there's a show that you really want to see, you could enter the lottery. And what that consists of is you go to the theater at 11.30, I think, and um, there's normally a line, and you just put in your name, say, uh, you can enter for up to two tickets, and, um, my friends did this, uh, for Wicked, and, well, we all did it, but one of my friends won, and they, for Wicked, they draw names until they have enough people to f fill the first row, and so, the lottery tickets are significantly cheaper, and it's front row cheap, front row seats, um, but that's, you know, it's a chance thing, it's like if they draw your name, so, um, but at, for Wicked, the tickets were discounted to $26, which is crazy awesome <laughs> for first row, and so there are ways to get cheap tickets, don't worry about that, I mean, you're gonna want money for the city, but just saying, you don't have to pay like a hundred dollars every time you want to see a show. 
Um, okay, uh, Joe, your musical sounds awesome because I have totally thought about that. Because I'm like, if my life was a musical, I know that, uh, like, my brother would absolutely hate me <laughs> because he can't stand musicals. It's really funny. But, um, my friend Brittany would adore me because she would get to sing all the time. And she, I don't know, she is kind of like me. We don't hang out a lot, but she's really cool. And, um, I don't know, I've always wondered what would happen. And you actually found a plot that, like, brings it together. And it makes sense, and I like it. And, um, your novel about the lost ideas, that is such an interesting concept. It sounds so cool. And I look forward to reading the English translation someday because that sounds it that sounds so cool. I'm I'm excited. Um Anna, your poem was awesome. I you guys know I can't write or speak. Um but man you can. <laughs> that's, I, um, that was just so cool. Like, that's, that's the perfect way to describe hope, I think. And I liked that you incorporated, like, how the, how the world views hope. I don't know, it's, okay, this goes back to the whole I can't talk thing. But, basically just kudos. That rocked. Um, and as you probably guessed, I'm caught up on videos now. So to the final um, issue to address, uh, Joe, I like your turban. You should keep it. Even if you get weird looks. Just for me. <laughs> But I do really like it. I think it's cool. I wish I had a tur well, I do have a turban, but it's at home, and it's gold and sparkly. And it's fun. But that's just part of my hat collection. Actually, you might be able to see it on my wall. I think it's on my wall. I know I have a purple and blue one on my wall. No, the I I changed around my hats a little bit, and the video that I posted of my room was before I changed it change them around a little. Okay. Um, so yeah, I was I was trying to keep this short for Megan because um yeah, sorry. Oh, and I found my list. I like I literally woke up and uh my suitcase was open from last night, like I got out my toothbrush and crashed. And <clears throat> I saw this folded piece of yellow paper, very similar to this one like, no way. If so I reached in my suitcase, pulled it out, there's my list. I had it with me the entire trip. Didn't remember. Oops. Oh well, at least I found it now. And I still really need to clean my room. <laughs> like, it's really bad. Really bad. So, um, I'll do that today. And I've got a lot of other things to do, but that's definitely up there. So, I'm gonna let you go now, and again, Meg, I'm sorry for making another video, and I hope that you're able to catch up, and I hope you all have great days, and 